Gandhi didn't have a sweatshop. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Bilbo destroys Steve Jobs and his legacy in five minutes. This guy's ruthless. Let's go. Actually, nerd Jesus died in the last year, right? That's Steve Jesus. Jobs. Yeah, he died, wow. right? I know, wow. I know. A lot of nerds here tonight. I know you're sad. Nerd Jesus. I didn't get it. I didn't get the big deal they made about that guy. When he died, they were like, he changed the world. That was insane. <laughs> he changed the world. The world was one way, and then Steve Jobs came, and it was another. <laughs> what did he do? Somebody, for the love of God, what the <laughs> fuck did that guy do? What did he do? He told other people what to invent? Mm. I want my entire music collection in that phone. Get on it! Mm. Right? And then these poor, nameless, faceless scientists gotta mm. go in a back room and figure it out. How the fuck are we gonna get all of this into this? I mean, what year does this guy think this is? This is crazy. This is like Buck Rogers. Dude, my kid has a birthday in like 11 months. Steve Jobs just walking by. I don't hear any thinking going on in there. Just strutting around the office, eating some pretentious fruit like a pear, right? Just throwing out ideas. Yeah. yeah. Or another one. That's true. I feel like all these people, they're just good leaders. They're able to, you know, lead a group of people very well. Like Elon Musk, I feel like Elon Musk probably is more practical in a way. He loves being involved in the need, need the need to create. He loves actually being. But when it comes to Steve Jobs, uh, I do understand what he's saying to an extent because. The phones, the iPads, the MacBooks, it's not Steve Jobs coming up with all the ideas. No, it's not. There are people that are employed to come up with these ideas. He's just, a, he's just a face of it. He started something and people just make it bigger. He had an idea and he just people just brought it to life. But obviously, he has to give him thanks as well because literally, for him, if he didn't start it with friends, was it two or three of them that started it? If they didn't start it, come on, you don't get it where it is today. Same as Amazon. Jeff Bezos had to come up with the idea with friends as well. Was he, was he and his wife? I'm going off topic. Sorry, let's go back. Another one I just came up with on the way to work. I was reading a magazine the other day, turning pages, you know? I like to turn pages on a screen that aren't even there. Yeah, wrap your fucking heads around that, guys. See you in eight years. Eight years. Where are you going, Michael? Big, little, big, little, get on it. <laughs> right? And all these people slave away. To make his vision come true. Slowly. And then they have the big nerd fest, right? Down there, Comic Con, and all their nerd mm. mecca. They are all showing up with their acne nerd and mecca. their Hulk shirts, limping into the arena, right? Nerd mecca. Does Steve Jobs go out with a whole chorus line of scientists? No, he goes out there by himself. Mm. Sneakers and no belt, like it was no biggie, <laughs> right? <laughs> Like he's, like he's Tesla, <laughs> tapping into the atmosphere. I know, this is always uncomfortable. I know, you bought into it, right? Mm. That whole advertising, the way they aligned themselves with some of the greatest people of all time. Jesus, Gandhi, me! <laughs> Remember that? Mm. Muhammad Ali, John Lennon, this guy! <laughs> How the fuck was that dude like any of them? Gandhi didn't have a sweatshop. Nah, he didn't have people leaping to their deaths only to get, catch a net and get ricocheted back through the window to have to put together yet another iPad. John Lennon didn't have children in his basement pressing those fucking albums. Wow. I know, I know. New phone can't fit the old charger. This is your hero? <laughs> this is the guy? This is what all the silence is about. New phone can't fit the old charger, so then you gotta throw it out, ends up in the ocean around some octopus's Oops. neck. Do you realize how much sea life is ecstatic that that man is no longer walking the earth? <laughs> That's where it all ends up, you know. Doesn't go in a landfill, ends up in the ocean. You realize that? I hate people who say I don't pollute. I don't pollute. Yeah, you do. You use shit and you throw it out. What, you think because you put in like a basket, it just poof, disappears? 
Going. Everything he ever used is somewhere. Mm. You ever think about that? Remember that flannel shirt you bought back in the day when you got into Pearl Jam? <laughs> That's out there somewhere. Probably on some porpoise's face, He's trying to get it off. <laughs> Stupid little flippers. Oh. All the fads. You remember rollerblading? Remember that? I Everybody did. had them. We set up cones, we did little tricks, right? One oh little homophobic God. joke killed that entire fad. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about rollerblading? Eh, telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> Full-grown adults, dude, I'm not gay. I don't have the cooties. Oh These mean I suck dick. And they just threw them out. Wow. They end up in the ocean. They're made out of plastic. They can't biodegrade. They just break down to little cubes. Fish are breathing them in. Six months later, you're going out, you're getting sushi, you think you're being healthy, you're eating your own rollerblades. <laughs> All right, I'm out of time. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, God, I end it. You're in your rollerblades. Oh, my God. It's so true. It's so true. Everyone thinks they're being great, whatever. We, we, we all have something we do that, you know, destroying the planet. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. Just don't think you are, literally. But yeah, if you guys like that, if you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love Bill Bo. I love doing Bill Bo on this channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.